Hey there, everybody. This is Spotlight Helix. Welcome back to Jack and Dax, the Precursor's Legacy. In the last episode, we defeated Claw with double W's and made our way through the mountain pass to the Red Sage's hut, where it got trashed again, and we found out the person who we're seeking to help Daxter is trying to kill us anyway. So we've learnt Daxter has no hope of getting turned back to normal. Thankfully, we still have a goal to save the world, which is a bit much bigger, but hey, let's talk to Samos anyway. Great balls of eco. There seems to be a large lurker presence in the spider caves. Great. Sounds like a real cheery place. Let me guess. There are spiders in the spider caves, right? Of course there are spiders in spider caves. But that's the least of your problems. The lurkers are after crystals of concentrated dark eco. You've got to destroy the crystals before those monsters get their hands on them. Up to it! On it, Samos. That's why I'm not going to the spider caves. Now, Kira doesn't have anything interesting to tell you. Just like, oh, you should... Go get some more precursor orbs, power cells, that one. In order to do stuff. Anyway, there are some miners down here who want a lot of our precursor orbs. So I'm actually gonna leave them for a bit because that's a whole lot of text I'm gonna sit through. But if I head down here, there are a few interesting things to collect, like a scout fly, these precursor orbs, and uh, that guy right there. So let's have a speak with him seek the pure light for within its flame the answers reside you can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each i give mad props to whoever did the voice acting for the precursors that's generally what that voice is referred to as just the precursor voice and man, that's good. Like, I don't think I can do a voice that well. Like, I'll, I'll give it my best shot, guys, but it's not gonna be good. It's like, for your efforts, another power cell is your reward. I don't know. It's just kind of like the most, he's, it's like they're doing a Batman voice while projecting their voice. Like, that's the weird thing. It's like Batman still has a voice. That's kind of what they're doing. I've reactivated the gondola. It can take you to Snowy Mountain. Use it whenever you want. Okay, so this takes us to one of the two main areas around this place, and actually the one I'm going to go to first. Partly because it's on the way through the volcanic crater, there's like no one to talk to. Or missions to get before we go to places, so there's actually not much point in exploring it. We'll get around to the whole lot. But up here, yet another seamless loading transition that I love. We are heading to the Snowy Mountains, and I recommend you go here before the Spider Caves, because you will be able to activate some eco vents here. Anyway, welcome to the Snowy Mountain, and oh my goodness, lurkers are popping up out of the snow. And basically, if there's any deep snow, they will do that. Also, these weird platform things with the barriers, if you jump on them, they will deactivate. There's a lot of them around Snowy Mountain. And we have to deactivate every single one. Thankfully, if you deactivate one, it stays deactivated even if you decide to jump off a cliff. I don't know why I did that. Maybe just to get back up here. And also, can I just point out that up there, that weird structure, that is Goal and Myers Citadel. That is the final location of the game. And that's something we've actually seen right from the start of the game. I, I'm not joking. You could have seen that all the way back from saying, oh man, Samos the Sages Hut. Now, I'm gonna go through here a little bit. I only say a little bit because I'm only getting these orbs here. There is a close... Oh my goodness, die. 
there is a closed deco vent, so we will be coming back through here at some point. But I reckon we'll be going backwards to get through there. So then we're left with two choices, up or down. And if I know anything about any 3D platformer, going up is basically the better idea because you can fall down. Unless, you know, falling damage and stuff. And what hurt me? Please tell me what hurt me there. There wasn't a... Ah, there wasn't a snowball there, was there? Anyway, and get the last orbs and get out of there. We have a giant lurker force right here. Thankfully, we have a red eco vent and they are always open from the get-go. And there is actually a use for red eco apart from being just a bit stronger and taking out enemies in one hit. Now, I need to take out this lurker here first. Once you take out all the nearby lurkers, this guy will come down and you actually need red eco to destroy his shield and killing there's a few more of them we'll see as you can see there's a whole lot of precursor barrels and likely dark eco because they look quite similar to that first artifact we saw back in the intro of the game that kind of caused the whole plot points you know like daxa being what he is now and That was hardly a fair snow boulder game. Thankfully, that was pretty much everything up there. Okay, I should have looked out for boulders, but it's okay. Now, just jump down here. Careful for enemies. Just spin, spin, spin. Spin to win, guys. Spin to win. That's basically what you do in this game. Now, there's another red eco vent. First of all, I want to head over this bridge and... Alright, uh, this is the intro to ice physics. Ice physics is ter uh, uh, terrible in this. Thankfully with ice physics, I'm just trying to like wrap it around my head again. Punching will send you in a direction that you roughly want to go. However, you'll start moving in that direction fairly quickly. Now, another good method to stop is to do this ground pound. That'll stop you right in your tracks. I don't like that thing there. But apart from that, you're if you jump and you're moving in the direction, you're staying in that direction in that speed. And it's pretty hard to, oh my goodness. It's pretty hard to do otherwise. Thankfully these bridges have these ropes on either side making it a bit easier. And those lurkers are really annoying, actually, the more I see them. But getting these hit along the things, the ice, it's... We're gonna make this one. Hitting those pedestals al along the ice is quite hard, but when you do it, it's amazing. Anyway, we've got Red Eco, and... Lurkers! A whole lot of lurkers! And wait, wait, I can destroy the... I can destroy the dark eco crates if I keep my distance. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Now the reason why I like having the red eco here, like I said earlier, it extends your spin attack actually quite a bit. And it apparently makes you invulnerable when you're spinning. I mean, I'm not gonna try moving into the dark eco crates. You don't need to kill every lurker, but it helps to get them out of the way. As through here, there is a power cell. Oh my goodness. 72 cells though. Going good. Got a bit of health back. Very nice. And up here, this leads right back to where we were before. Right above that bridge. And now I am going to fall down here. And uh, we've got more of these guys. Now these guys... Guys, uh, uh, one, they're quite annoying because, you know, they keep respawning. On the other hand, they keep respawning and they're easy to deal with. They are a great way to just focus on getting your health back, so long as you don't hit, get hit by them. 
Anyway, heading along this way, we have another one of these icebreakers. That's what I'm gonna call him. How did you, what? How did I get hurt there? What? I can fine game. Okay, you win. Anyway, moving on, let's head up in front of the lurker fort and see what lies up here. Oh, we have to go back this way, don't we? Gah, I wish I knew we had to. Can I jump on this? No, no, the game doesn't want me to. Oh, I have to. Oh, oh. Okay, that was a lot more painful than it should have been. And as we come up to Lurker Fort, I'm gonna stay in the snow, thank you very much. As you can see, the 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 gates shut, which is I'll, I'll admit that's kind of clever for the lurkers. And before I do anything, in case I die, I'm gonna head through here a bit because I believe I just hit a checkpoint by doing that. Meaning, if I die, I re I will respawn there. The thing is, I think the checkpoints here are based on not where you were last, but where you die. So if I die here, I might actually end up going back to the bridge. Which will be very annoying. So please don't die. And let's hit this. And I probably would have hit that without the spin. There we go. Okay. I hate hitting those. What? Ah, I should have seen that coming. Oh no, the checkpoint did save me here. That is why I went through the trees. See, I knew something bad was going to happen. That's not something I should know, but hey, I, I, I called it. Anyway, let's go through the trees first because there's something very interesting through here. We have a lot of precursor tech. And ice physics that kind of prevent us from going on these things. There we go. A lot of tricky jumps here due to the ice physics going... Uh, what? I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to hit that button. Anyway. Whoop, guess I'm not doing that. Go, go, go. I'm going. Ah, oh, I almost made it. The thing is, once you jump, if you're moving away from the ledge, you're not coming back. Okay. Let's go. Go, Jack. Nice. And I actually landed on it. As opposed to hanging off the edge. Which killed me last time. There we go. And... Whoa, camera angles! You're killing me! I can do this. It's just a bit of platform. And while I'm doing this, I would like to bring to attention yet again. And you guys are gonna see me bring this to attention in my top 10 music video. That's right, the music of this place. I love the music here. I just fall for the snowy music every time. Unless it's Twilight Princess, where it's just sad. But I love the music here, and also these sound effects are amazing, and I like them. Okay, this is a terrible jump. Go, 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 go! Okay, that jump is not fair. Thankfully, the platform moves with that piston thing, but that's right, guys. The yellow week event is out. And with that, that's activated a total of, like, three eco-vents. I'm being serious, guys. That's... is there no... oh, I guess I'll just go back this way. Down the slide. Whee! So easy to die. But yes, there's only, like, three yellow eco-vents that actually activates that I can think of. Maybe a couple later on, but... You're never gonna see that because you're gonna activate the yellow eco event, right guys? Right guys? 
Anyway though, let's head up here. Only reason to go up this way is because of that scout fly. But there is another way up here which I will show off. Oh, wait, no, this didn't bring me to where I thought I'd be. Okay, let's just take care of these enemies then. And let's run away because I don't have any red eco. There's the red eco. And I believe these are actually the last of these weird pedestals. So let's grab them. Thankfully they, they don't hurt me. But let's try that. And this right here, you can see... You weren't meant to hit me. You can see... Jack, stop moving. You can see the yellow eco vent from through the ice. And that really confused me as a kid. Like, seriously, I had no idea where to go in order to get that yellow eco vent. Until I kind of worked out, just head down here. And you, I kind of, honestly, I don't know how, but I, I, first of all, I died from and spawned here. And then I, no joke, I accidentally walked through the trees. I didn't know there was even a way through the trees. I thought the trees were just a straight up wall when I couldn't even walk in between the trees. So... Somehow, I'm not sure how, but like next moment I look up and I'm in the cave and I'm like What? Where am I? Oh, how did I miss this? Right, for deactivating all those pedestal things, you do get a power cell if you're not blind and actually see the power cell. But speaking of power cells, I believe that you, sir, have a power cell for me. Give me the power cell. Why, thank you! Anyway, whatever the third one of those guys you kill is the one with the power cell. Yes! I got it. Okay, now, heading over this way, we will be back on that icy place in a short while as we're leaving this world. That's the exit we will take. We have a flop flop though! Flop flop returns! Woo! I don't recommend using your stomp here, guys. Just keep holding forward. The timers are fairly lenient at first, but if you don't hold forward, you're probably gonna die. The nice thing is, the cycles actually line up quite well in that you can always hold forward. Now, here's the thing, though. It's hard to tell if these are far away or, or if they're just small. Like, it's really easy to overshoot these, especially with the camera angle that doesn't change all that much. And, oh my goodness, I did that really easily. Yeah, well done, Flut Flut, you did it! And that's right, we've actually come down beneath the Lurker Force. That is the gate that just opened up. Very nice. Now, if we return Flut Flut, we can ride this platform back up to safety. And if you're clever, there's actually a way to get Flut Flut out of that area. And oh my goodness, does that break this level. Sadly, it's very difficult to do. I myself haven't done it. But if you want to learn how, just watch a speedrun or something and jump into a wall or I don't know. Anyway, if the music wasn't good enough, hopefully this Lurker Fort variation makes it good enough. Now, we have quite a few collectibles here. I'm gonna wait for this to run out, actually. We'll get that Scout Fly in a moment. But if we grab this blue eco and jump down here, make sure you spin, otherwise you will take damage. Three of these things will activate. Also, jumping up on top of this tower kind of skips half of this fort area. I mean, there's precursor orbs all around the place, but you could like just do a roll jump over there and you actually just straight up skip like a good half of heading around this fort to get the power cell that's right there. Actually, you might almost be able to just jump to that power cell. Take that roll kick to the face. I cannot take any damage. Okay. 
I'm very scared now. I did not realize that. Give me the health. I'm kind of close to another health here, too. Anyway, just got some good old fa fa <laughs> So now we have not only do we have those weird spinning poles that I hate, we have ice fittings. And okay, seeing as I fe fell down at the halfway point, pretty much, I guess I'll take the shortcut. Which is literally just jump over from over here. And then I'll take the official shortcut in just a moment. I don't know if a rolling jump's gonna work from that. I'll figure this out, guys. Don't you worry. And I'm... I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna roll jump from here. Just gotta... The thing is, I need to turn around, too. Just jump backwards. That lets me face... No! Just appreciate this music. It's like... I love this variation. The, the, the snow themes in games are just the best. Anyway, up here we do have a scout fly. Only one remains! And I know exactly where it is. Oh my goodness, I'm so close to a heel. But there's so many enemies down here. Oh my goodness! No, no. Okay, I got the heel. Oh, I can breathe. Anyway, getting halfway up will let this move up and down, which provides a shortcut. If you didn't want to climb the tower, that is. That is why I needed the heel. Anyway, let's just make our way platforming across this simple area. It's not that bad, really. Although, you do have to be careful of a couple of things. That being one of them, and the other one is actually a weird bit of ice physics. But I'm going to take shortcut number two and be right back. Okay. Shortcut number two doesn't work. Let's just do this the proper way. And while I do this platforming, I am going to actually be quiet and let you enjoy the music. Preferably without the sound of lurkers roaring and bouncing in the background. Okay, I made it. With that, I finally got the power cell. And there's just one brief little area to check out on our way back to the gondola that we took to get up to this mountain in the first place. All I have to do is ride up this li <laughs> I missed the lift. There we go, and do a hide. No high jumps, just normal jumps. I... what? How... Uh, uh, I don't know how I got up onto this platform, but hey, I'll take it. Anyway, just gotta go over here a bit. And I believe, yes, we do have more of these guys spawning here. But I want to take a nice good look around here as... Whoa! What was that punch? I did like three turns. We do have some strong crates that we need to bring this yellow eco over to and our final scout fly yeah bum i did it oh my goodness yes didn't die now there is actually one thing to do before i move on and that is there is a crate embedded in the wall which gives us a power cell now that was an easy one to guess I hope you practice shooting crates in the walls because we're gonna have to do that later and it's not gonna be fun like trust me also make sure you spin to get those orbs because they don't like being collected 
Or ac more so, it's hard to see them. But with that, we have completed the snowy mountain area and died a lot. We've also activated the yellow eco vents. So with that, guys, next time, we will explore a little bit more of the volcanic crater as we make our way over to the spider caves. If I can get to the gondola without dying anymore. There we go. So yes, next time, spider caves. My goodness, that's going to be fun because that's quite possibly the hardest place we've been to yet. So with that, guys, this has been Spiraling Helix. I'll see you guys next time, everybody. Bye-bye.